Okay, quick project update on the uh, Ludlum 177 Geiger counter that I'm setting up for a year-long experiment, ideally. And what I am doing is I'm interfacing this guy via the data port on the back to a Raspberry Pi via some input circuitry I've just begun to prototype here and here. So the idea is I will be able to uh, um, detect pulses coming from the Geiger counter every time you hear a little beep noise there. That's a detection event. But anyway, so every time there's a detection event, this counter I see here should be able to count those pulses, um, which are about 14 nanoseconds wide because of the way I have this set up. But this should be able to pick up the 14 nanosecond wide pulses and count them and store that number and up to 32 bits. And I need to do some uh, level interfacing between that and uh, the Raspberry Pi connector here. And that is after Raspbian's done installing on the Raspberry Pi. But, uh, so kind of the fun stuff I have set up that I'd like to show is that the counter is, or well, the interface circuitry is more or less working. I get a nice square 5 volt pulse that can be read by the uh, level converter easily. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm just going to take my depression glass sample there, my nice alpha, beta, gamma pancake detector. Just, oops, find a way to safely set that on the bench. Oh, I've set off the alarm on accident. One moment. Reset, turn that up. I'm going to talk about that feature in a minute, but just kind of... So, get about... Should be getting about 1,000, 1,200 counts a minute, somewhere in that area. Mm, okay. Doing a bit better than that. No, just kidding. About 2,000 counts a minute. 2,100. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the alarm to the point where it goes off again. You'll notice this little red LED light up when the alarm goes off. And when I turn the alarm back up and reset it, the LED goes off. And that'll be um, an alarm input for the Raspberry Pi eventually. So the Raspberry Pi also knows when the alarm's going off. And there'll be... Um, uh, like a web interface and um, some recording software that records background radiation. So that's what I'm doing with this, guys. I want to do a year-long experiment where I record background radiation during all times of day and night and across seasons and months. So I'm curious uh, mostly how much the angle of the sun affects radiation uh, compared to, or affects background radiation, trying to see if I can learn anything about that. Oh, and secondarily, um, I'm also going to add temperature and humidity and barometric pressure because those things actually affect certain readings. Um, alpha and beta particles don't go as far in open air as they would normally. So be watch out for that. And then here you can see, I almost forgot, the nice square waves coming out of the detector. And you'll see the blue line drop when the alarm goes off again. So. I'll be looking for that output. Anyway, this is the uh, project update. I've got probably a couple more weeks worth of work on it before I can uh, solder everything and lay it down. But yeah, excellent.